Hey everybody, I want to talk to you about rapid air systems. Um, one been wanting to uh, plumb my garage for uh, put some drops in it for air, so I bought uh, their three quarter inch system first. Turns out that was way too much tubing for what I was trying to do. Uh, it's really an industrial size tube. Um, it measured over three quarters of an inch on the ID, and the OD was about an inch and three sixteenths. So. Uh, before you go biting off that three-quarter inch, think about it uh, twice. It's a, a heavy aluminum tube, or, or you know, relatively heavy aluminum tube that's got a, uh, a PVC sleeve. You can straighten it out. Um, it looked like, but it was going to be way, mu way too big and way too much hassle for me. So I sent it back, and I got this half-inch system that you're looking at here. Um, system. Basically, this is how they want you to plumb it. Uh, you got an air inlet from your compressor and then the outlet's dropping out. Um, the more I looked at this, the more I started thinking, why in the world do I want to have an outlet that's trapping water that can pass water onto my tools, my uh, air tools or my uh, paint gun, that kind of thing. You know, much rather filter that water out and get it out of there. So basically everywhere they have a drop, what I did was uh, put a filter regulator there. I'm going to show you some of the parts that I had left over and some of the things that I did. Um, you know, they, they send you a bunch of 90s, which is great, but everywhere you got a, a hard 90 like that, uh, you're going to get flow loss. So what I did basically was just, you know, this tubing's really good. Uh, I could do a 90 with about a 4-inch uh, radius, and I, I did that to keep the flow up on the pipe coming down the wall, out of the roof, and that kind of thing. The drop-off uh, blocks they send you, man, nice piece of aluminum billet machined out, um, probably overkill. Uh, for what they paid there, I would have rather put that, like I say, into the price of a uh, um, filter regulator. Um, you can buy nylon tubing. Um, this is rated for 100 feet, 150 PSI. You can buy nylon, nylon tubing from like Master Car or SMC. You can buy... Um, the uh, slip lock fittings or whatever you want to call them push in fittings uh, they got an o-ring down in there and some teeth that basically hold the hose from backing out until you push this little collar down and, and you release it so you can buy those uh, you know aftermarket if you want to uh, you might want to price the system both ways I don't want to take any money away from them or business away from them but I'm telling you um, you know there's there's probably better way to do it than than what they're selling you uh, at least in my opinion and I bought a lot of uh, street elbows and even went inside of them, kind of drilled them out a little bit and cleaned them up with my uh, Dremel tool my, and, you know, just, just so I'd have good flow through the corners. All right, so I'm going to show you my compressor, where I, how I hooked it up, and I'll show you a drop and we'll go from there. Okay, this is my compressor uh, setup. It's your typical 60-gallon tank, 5-horse uh, compressor. Um, come come out of the tank with a half inch elbow into a uh, half inch ball valve got a T there uh, that way I've got an opening if I want to get add some more plumbing to it if I need to put another outlet um, basically I want everything filtered so the first thing I got is a filter here and it's a water separator these two outlets uh, quick disconnects this one is a, a larger 3 8 size that feeds the half inch uh, rapid air system this one is just for our airline both these see tank pressure so you know whatever's in the tanks coming out here if it's 155 psi here that's what you got here uh, the reason I got that one is so that I can fill my air tank up and have you know max psi in it without having to jack this regulator up and down all the time this regulator on this side is just really for uh, any kind of airlines that want to run local to the compressor um, so again, there's filtered here, it's filtered there, what's coming out of here is double filtered. And that's how I did the compressor end of it. Now I'm going to show you how that attaches to the uh, uh, rapid air system. Okay, you saw where that uh, um, quick connect has got this rapid air system coming out of it. Basically, as soon as I came out of it, I mounted a, another filter regulator right here uh, on the wall just above the compressor so when I turn the compressor on it's going to get like I say tank pressure coming to it and then it's regulated from there okay. 
So now I can set whatever pressure I need here um, to make sure I get the outlet pressure that I'm looking for. Um, you can see where I used street elbows coming in and out to try to keep the flow rate up. And that's, you know, the third place so far that we've filtered the air. And again, it took the place of one of the aluminum valves that they sent with the system. I'm going to show you two of the different kinds of drops that I've got. That's the main air line. And uh, I've used one of their T's and dropped it to one of my filter regulator outlets here. I'll go over here and show you this other one and uh, go in a little more detail about it. Okay, I showed you the one uh, that I teed and dropped out. This is my other uh, drop, or one of the other drops, I should say. It's mounted off of a uh, piece of three-quarter inch, really nice piece of plywood that's uh, stuck to the concrete wall with uh, Loctite construction adhesive. Um, again, you can see that I've got their 3 8 ball valve, their 3 8 fitting, and their half-inch tube coming in. It's a 3 8 uh, filter regulator. Um, honestly, these are from uh, Harbor Freight. I've never had a problem with them. They're self-draining. Um, come out of the other side with it, and uh, it's got a street elbow and the quarter-inch fitting that comes with the uh, Rapid Air kit. As far as uh, uh, nice to have a ball valve at each one, that way if you got any kind of leak, you can always shut it off, even if it's the tool you know that you're hooked up to. Um, the other thing is, when I ran these, this this one is coming across and I have plenty of room to make this corner so again to keep the flow losses down and to eliminate two places where it could leak uh, I just bent the pipe around the, the corner there and these little clamps right here got those from Ace Hardware and there's not enough in the kit and those are really nice they've got a interlocking end so it holds the two ends together while you're trying to put the screw in it guys I hope that helps you thanks for watching the video